Hey everyone, this is James and welcome back for more Pokemon Crystal. Last episode, we finally met Suiku and we actually had a proper battle, kind of. I pretty much caught him and now he is in my PC forever. On this episode, we are now going to be heading east of Mahogany Town and now we're in Route 44. I saw the trainer, I was trying to back up, but nope, that didn't work out. Anyways, I'm going to win for sure. Yeah, okay. So first Pokemon on the list is Poliwhirl. If you caught a Poliwag in the beginning of the game, then you will most likely have a Poliwhirl already. Or maybe a Poliwrath or a Politoed, who knows where you're at in the game. But, Poliwhirl is a nice Pokemon. It's still a little weak with its attack, defensive, special attack, and special defense, but once it evolves into a Poliwrath or a Politoed, it buffs up a little bit more. Not the best, not the worst, it's more of an average Pokemon. But the thing is for Poliwrath, Poliwrath gets a fighting typing as well. So that's what makes it a little bit more unique. And Politoed is more of a defender than anything else. It knows it knows a good variety of moves, but in my opinion, I like Poliwrath a little bit more just because of the typing it has. And Politoed doesn't really get a secondary typing, it only gets a water typing. Next Pokemon you can find now is Weeping Bell. Um, you can get Bell Sprout and evolve it, so you don't really need to go out of your way to catch Weeping Bell. Um, Weeping Bell has really good attack and really good special attack. Um, and when they evolve again, it will have even better attack and better special attack as well. The only things it will be lacking would be defense and special defense and speed as well. It, it's just one of those things where it's just like, oh yeah, this is um, this is a very strong Pokemon. But if it hits itself with confusion, then it's going to be a problem because its its defenses are really low. So it's one of those Pokemon you gotta be careful when it comes to confusion, because I would know. Other than that, it's not a bad Pokemon. Even if I even even special attack is not that bad. Special attack is like 85, and special attack with is affected with grass types, and poison types is affected by attack. So it's like it's like it, it, there's not really much of a difference when it comes to using either or attack. It's better to use poison type attacks than grass type attacks. But after that, it, it's just like, you yeah, know, just hit, try your hardest and then you'll get there. But then again, Weeping Bell is a very solid grass type Pokemon, as well as Victory Bell. Next Pokemon is Lickitung. Lickitung has a very good HP stat, but everything else is kind of either a little down there or it's just, it's just average just to, uh, just to, uh, benefit itself. Like defense and special defense. It's attack and special attack are really bad, especially attack, and it's kind of weird because attack is a is for normal types as well. Normal types need attack. Lickitung doesn't have a good attack stat, and its speed is really low. Not really low, but it's like 30. So it's kind of hard to use a Lickitung, and during this part, points in in Pokemon Generation 2. It does not have an evolution, so you cannot even get an evolution. Also, the moves on the Lickitung are kind of mediocre. I think the only good move you can learn is Slam, and even so, Slam can miss 25% uh, of the time, so it's not the best move in the world. Now, you can teach a TM so it can be a little better, such as Hyper Beam and whatnot, but after that, it, after that it's just like, you know, just an average Pokemon, you know? But... If you try to catch a Lickitung and not even give it new moves, it's not going to be a really good normal type. And last Pokemon is Tangela. Tangela has a really good defense and a really good special attack, but special defense is not that good. So make sure not to fight this Pokemon, not to use this Pokemon against Fire types. Its moves is also all right. It learns Mega Drain at level 31, and that's okay because you can get something to get your health back. And at level 40, you can learn Slam, and level 34, you can learn Stun Spore. So it's like a really good late uh, status inflictor. And then you can probably just teach it TM moves at that point. You know, you can teach it Toxic, uh, Giga Drain. Giga Drain is a little better. You can replace Mega Drain. Or you can make it learn Solar Beam and go on from there. There's a lot of things we can do. And also at level 46, by the way, it learns growth, which is a really weird time for it to actually learn growth. But, you know, it's there if you want to have a uh, status move. Or stat move, I meant to say. But all in all, Tangela is a nice Pokemon. It's just, it doesn't get a lot of love because 
it, it's just a weird Pokemon to have. It's like one of those Pokemon's like, oh, it's just a, it's just a non-evolution, uh, evolution Pokemon. Why would I need that? It's just like it's basically an okay Pokemon, and it gets a lot better when it gets an evolution too. But again, Tangela, Tangela as at its own, it's completely fine. All right, that's a shocking loss. Yeah, it is. Anyways, moving on. So fruit berry and cherry is a burnt berry. I think burnt berry thaws out Pokemon, so that's uh, something that I don't really need anymore because I just fought the ice, uh, the ice type gym leader, and we get a max repel. I'm gonna try my best not to uh, fight people. Um, you're a trainer, I know that. You're a trainer, and I think I thought you were gonna be in the middle, or no, not the middle, but at top. That's fun. It's fun, 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 fun. By the way, I gave uh, Growlithe the experience share, just to let you know. Alright, PSI is healed, and now let's move on. Because he burned my he burned my Eevee, so that was funny. Oh, are we there? Are we there already? I, th I guess we're here. I want that Pokeball. Hold on, let me go get that. An Ultra Ball! Well, wow, that's funny. Anyways, now we can go up here. And I'll fight these trainers later. I, I can't avoid this guy too. Wow, that's cool. Um, now we are in Ice Path. Welcome to the Ice Path. If you ever need Ice type Pokemon, this is a good place to get it. First Pokemon is Swinub. Swinub has a very nice typing, which is Ice and Ground. The only problem is, it is now weak to water and grass. It's a problem. But, it can also learn Earthquake, and it can also be Stab, so it can be a really nice Pokemon. And since it evolves into a Pil uh, Piloswine, and its attack is really good, a 100 base attack, it's a really nice Pokemon to have if you want a Ground type, and you also want a, if you also want an Ice type, you know, you know, it's like you couldn't really decide which uh, which typing you want. So you know, this this is pretty much the uh, compromise at this point. I do recommend this Pokemon. This Pokemon is a great Pokemon to have on your team. If you just need an Ice type or a Ground type, you know, something to something to deter Electric type Pokemon, or something to like take out Dragon types as well. And believe me, you're gonna see some Dragon types after this Ice Path uh, part of the game. So again. This is not a bad choice. It is not a bad choice. Next Pokemon is Delibird. Delibird is not the best Pokemon. Sure, you can teach it TMs, but at this point in time, you're not gonna really have a lot of. Oh, well, I can't say you're not gonna have a lot of money set aside for TMs. But in case you don't have a lot of money, then this Pokemon is not the best Pokemon to go for. The only move it knows is Present, and Present can be a very, very tricky move. It can either take out a Pokemon really well, it can do barely any damage, or it will heal the opponent. It is a very finicky move that I do not like. I'd rather use Metronome, because Metronome at least goes- at least Metronome is fun. Present is not as much fun. Present is just stupid, because it's like, oh yeah, I throw a present at you, and it's like, oh, you healed, oh great. <laughs> Yeah, that's not fun. I don't like that. Metronome, if I explode myself, at least I'm laughing at myself. So, yeah. It's just like, Delibird's not the best. But unless unless you can get TMs on it. If you can get TMs on it, then I guess it's alright. But, again, it's not the best Pokemon to go for. Also, it doesn't really know any Ice-type moves during this point. So, unless you do have nice type TMs, such as the Icy Wind that you got from Price, then this Pokemon's not the best. Next Pokemon is Sneasel. Sneasel is a very good Pokemon. It's fast, its attack is 95. The only problem is most of the moves it learns, which is Stab, which is Dark and Ice, they're both special. And you want to know what special base is? It's 35. It is not a good Pokemon because of that. Sure, you could teach it Slash and whatnot, you know, you can teach it some moves like that, but again, it's just like. That infuriates me, you know. It's like it's the typing for it, you know. It's it should be good for it. It should be good for that sneasel. It is not. I don't know why they did this. I think th this Pokemon would be only good if if you need a very fast Pokemon on your team. But the thing is, you probably have a fast Pokemon on your team already, and you don't need another Pokemon like that anymore. 
So Sneasel, in my opinion, is just not the best Pokemon to go for. There's not really, there's not really a lot of good Pokemon to go for, except for Swine though, if you're just looking for a ground type. But most of these Pokemon are usually focused on attack. Until we see Jinx. Jinx, on the other hand, is a very nice Pokemon. A Psychic Ice type. Special attack is 115 base, uh, base stats. It, it's just, it's just a polar opposite of a Sneasel. It is a very good Pokemon. If you need a Psychic type, Jinx. If you need a Nice type, Jinx. It's a nice Pokemon. The thing is, you can get a Jinx sooner if you hatch the Odd Egg and you got a Smoochum. During that point, you would have an early Jinx. You'd be very, you, you would be good to go when it comes to that. I think your team would be set to go, and you would not need any help whatsoever. Now, the only problem with Jinx is that it doesn't know any Psychic type moves. So you're gonna have to teach it Psychic via TM in order to give it a Psychic typing, and you get Psychic at uh, let me think, it's uh, Saffron City, I believe. It's after game basically, and this is, you know that's a shame, but you know you, you can't win them all. I like Ice Path. I like the Ice Path music just a little bit. Um, if I run into something, I I need to fight some Pokemon actually because I need I need a oh wait there's only Zubats in here. Well for me it is. How you doing? Yeah, PSI, you're doing all right, I guess. I don't want you to fight this though. I do want to fight a certain Pokemon. I don't know if you can find Jinx in here at this point in time. I say this because I didn't look at anything about this place. I, I want to keep it a surprise for me and for me only. Anyways, here's the ice puzzle. Num numero oh no, uno, oh no. You think I'm good at ice puzzles? Nope. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah, I'm not good with ice puzzles. I'm just not the best. Let me get out of this real quick. There you go. There you go. It's the only way to... Mm, yeah. Uh, here, here. Here. Here, here, here. Cool. <laughs> they got me nowhere. Alright. Um, here. Oh, here we go. Easy. And now we got another ice puzzle that we actually do need to complete. Hmm. There we go. HM07. HM07, I believe, is waterfall, which that can be very useful when we are trying to climb waterfalls. I <laughs> don't get it. Okay, so... Let me just confirm what I said is true, and... Yes, okay. Don't worry about that. I'm good. I'm. I'm. A, I'm. A, I'm. A, how do I get out of here? Uh. Oh no, I'm stuck. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'll get out someday. Hmm. Oh wait, I see what I need to do. There, 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 and there, and there, and there. Don't worry, I'm good at ice puzzles. Don't worry about it. Anyways, most of these ice puzzles are not that bad. It just gets a little... Can I jump? No, I can't. It just gets a little weird. Such as this one. This is the strength puzzle that we need. And this better be a Jinx so I can just like one-shot it. It's not a Jinx. I'm putting up a Super Repel. Because I do not need to deal with these Zubats right now. Got away safely. And now I'm going to be doing this. Time to spray Super Repels everywhere. So now we got a strength puzzle coming up, which is right now. So, ooh, uh, this should be fine. Want to use strength? Yes, I do. I would love to use strength. Bop. And bop, bop, um, bop, bop, bop. Go around, go here, bop, and go down, push it to the left, and go down. The boulder fell through. That is good to know. Now let's get you to the other place. And before I do that, I gotta make sure what I'm doing is right. Um, yeah, that's not right. I gotta push you up here. And I gotta push you over. Because there's more room on that side than the other side. So now, 
Go this way, go that way, go with that, that, that's, and there. I'm really scared for my controllers just to mess up on me because, you know, that can definitely happen. Um, okay, so two of the boulders are good. So now, I'm gonna get the rest of the boulders. One boulder's right here, which I will push over here. Oh, wait a minute. No, 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 no. If I push it there, I won't be able to push it back. So, let's push it over here. Actually, wait a minute. What the hell? Uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay. I was afraid that I kind of messed up, but, you know. Bol boulder puzzle. Boulder puzzle. Yeah, yeah. I hit the yeah. Whoa, whoa. It's a little boring. Oh, don't do that. Uh, there. And there. There you go. Boulder fell through again. All right, that's cool. And we got one more boulder we gotta do. Um, uh, let's push it this way. Let's go this way, this way, and up, up. This is the last boulder, I believe. Up, oh, that way. Thanks, Rappel. Just gotta get my push in. And I'm gonna get this Rappel up. This is one Rappel, which shouldn't be a problem. And let's go this way, this way, down, that way, and here you go. Pretty simple, pretty boring, that's how things work in this game. Well, in this little puzzle. And now we can go across here. There's nothing here. Let's keep on going. I feel like there's an item somewhere. Oh, there's a card boss. Card boss. Which, I can give that to someone right away. I'm gonna give that to, uh... I'm gonna give that to Jenny. Also, while I was at the uh, radio tower, I got the pink bow from Maria after you beaten the Team Rocket at the radio tower. And I also got TM11, which was Sunny Day from the next girl that you talk to when you are about to leave. Well, not about to leave, but the like when you when you when you're about to leave Maria's station or studio, the next girl you talk to will give you. TM11, sunny day. I don't have it on me, but... Well, I do have it on me. I just don't feel like scrolling, because I'm stupid. See? Sunny day. Sunny day. There you go. So now, I'm gonna use this card boss, and I'm gonna give this to Jenny. Or Penny. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Anyways. There you go, Penny. Don't mind me, I'm just messing up names, as always. I always mess up names. And we get a Max Potion. Max Potion... Nothing there. Alright, let's try to get on here. Let's go down, go left. Thank you, Rip. Okay, Rappel. I appreciate you. And we get full heal. I think you get a Recandia. I guess I'm wrong about that. Oh well. Uh, that's for Rock Smash, which we don't have, and we're getting on a counter. I want a. Why is it always a Zubat? It's always a Zubat here. Oh, I'm a Zubat. I go fly, fly. I, I fly around. Leave me alone. I'm gonna put up another super repel. I, I'm not gonna be able to find anything. Okay. I'm gonna see what that Pokeball is, though. Can I run my bike in here? Yes, I can. I wanna see what that item is. Never melt ice. Never melt ice powers up ice type moves, but we do not have anyone that knows any ice type moves. We could, but we don't, so that's something that we got to consider. Um, I'm going to go down. Oh, hey. TM44. I don't know what that is. That sounds very strong. TM44. Oh, rest. Okay, now, um, now things are going to be kind of useful with sleep talk. And I'm back here. Great. Oh, no. Oh, no. There we go. Ice puzzles are almost over. Hopefully. Um, I'm just gonna go through here. I, I'm not really... I don't care anymore. I just, I just wanna get through this ice path. Protein! We can give that to... Um, we can give that to... Uh, let's say... Let's give that to... Um, I don't know who to give that to. Let's give it to Evergreen. Let's just max out the attack as much as possible, if we can. There we go. 
Repels wore off. Oh. Wait, there was an item there. I want an item. Give me an item. Hmm. PP up. Um, I don't need PP up uh, as much as I would love to have that, but it's more something to have in the late game. Not late game, more of a competitive side of view. And this is Swine Up. A little cute little Pokemon. I'm gonna murder it now. And since it did endure, it just gives me a chance to take it out as quickly as possible. And it doesn't give me any any uh, worries about everything. Quick attack. Dead. I don't know how ex how, how much XP it's gonna give me, so... Fantastic. Give me nothing. So... We are almost out of the cave, and yes we are. Welcome to Blackthorn City! As I go back and forth with my bike. Wow, you came through the ice path? You must be a real hotshot trainer. Yeah, 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 yeah. And since there's only 13 minutes, basically, we can just do a little bit of exploring. I do want to do some business here, though. Maybe it's in this house. Maybe I'm wrong. Dragonair's cute, but I don't have it. Do you have a Dragonair female? Want to trade with my Dotrio? No. You don't want to trade? Oh, darn. The thing is, with Dragonair, we can't really get Dragonair. I think the only time we get Dragonair is, like, in the, uh, slot machine? Slots? I don't know, too sure. But, are you gonna make your Pokemon forget some moves? Yes, I am, actually. Is this the house? The Glam Treasures who can freely command dragons live right here in the Blackthorn. As a result, there are many legends about dragons in this town. Alright, bad place. Um... Maybe it's not in this house. Or maybe it is this house. Move to Leader's house. Of course it has a sign in front of your house. Hey, sir, how you doing? Um, oh yes, I'm a move to Leader. I can make Pokemon forget moves. Shall I make a Pokemon forget move? Yes, please. We've been waiting for this for a long time. We need to get rid of Flash. We do not need Flash. Done. Your Pokemon forgot the move. And now, we gotta go to... We gotta go to Everglade. We're gonna get rid of cuts. The thing is... Headbutt and Bite... We can forget those. I mean, well, Bite. Bite, definitely. But if you don't know a Headbutt, we can replace as well. Because Headbutt is not an HM move. So now, we got those two moves out of the way, finally. Now, there's really nothing in the way when it comes to moves. So, the next move either of them are going to learn, learn, they're going to learn just like that. So now, this is what I'm going to do. This is probably going to be a short episode, because there's really not that much you can do in, um, unless you're going to fight Claire. So, this is what I'm doing. Since I gave myself a lot of room, basically, when it comes to training, because of all the recording I've done, I'm going to train my Pokemon up to around level 40. And when I train everyone up to level 40, we will be taking on Claire. I don't know if we're going to be fighting the gym leader, the gym trainers now, but... I'm going to see what you are going to say. Claire, our gym leader, is waiting for you. However, it would be impossible for a run-of-the-mill trainer to win. So, next time on Pokemon Crystal, we're going to be taking on the Dragon Tamer, Claire. I will see you guys next time. What do you want, Alan? I'm really regretting this phone. I don't like this phone anymore. I picked up something nice. Route 36? I might get that, actually. I don't know. It might be something good, like a nugget, and I can have, like, more money in my pocket. I don't know. I'll, I'll, uh, Route 36, I'll remember that. I'll do it off screen. So, again, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.